Developing right now out of Colorado Springs, Robert Deere is accused of shooting and killing three people at the clinic the day after Thanksgiving last year. And today, a judge had to decide if Deere is competent to stay in trial. Denver 7's Mark Boyle spent the day in the courtroom there where there were more outbursts from the suspect. Now, another theme continues today as Robert Deere continues to speak out in court almost two dozen times. Speaking out against his attorneys again today as well, saying about Dan King, I want to represent myself and fire my lawyers. That's why I'm here. He says it's my life on the line. Now, key moments came today when Dr. Jackie Grimm, the psychologist who performed the mental health competency evaluation on deer determined that he is not competent to stand trial. Now Grimmett says that she has uh, determined that deer has a delusional disorder and that hinders him from being able to stand trial. We also learned a lot more about what led up to that shooting when the lead detective was on the stand today. He said that deer says he's been followed by the FBI for 22 years. It all started back after the Branch Davidians and the episode in Waco in the early 90s. He says he believes the FBI was going to come kill him that day, so he went to take his last stand. He, that's when he drove to Planned Parenthood. We all know what happened after that. Another big key today was Luke 10:18. That passage from the Bible is one of those that Deere says led him to think that President Obama is the Antichrist. He says he's spoken out against the FBI and against President Obama. That's why he believes, at least to this detective, that he is being followed around by the FBI. Now, this will pick up back again on May 10th at 1 o'clock. We'll, of course, be here covering it for you. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.